Hello everyone, Jay here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, just playing um, Ridge Racer Unbounded. It's a Ridge Racer game on PC. It's a uh, old one. Servers never seem to work when I've ever fucking tried to play it. But yeah, I thought I'd play it anyway because it's got single player mode. It's just like Burnout really, just Ridge Racer themed. That's all it is. What you do is you do races, you get points, and when you get enough points, you move on to the next race. I'm a bit stuck on this one. I've done these, but I need to get enough. I need 120,000 to get that one. So I need to get more on that, more on that, more on that. Fucking. It's hard. So I'm gonna. Um, I want to go for this one first. And so the map all looks the same because the way it is, it's an old game. You can actually build tracks. Um, and you sort of just like piece parts together. Like prefabs. And it's kind of cool, I guess. It's a cool idea. It's just. Do very much. We use an ultra wide mod. The problem is the UI, the main menu, and stuff doesn't quite sit on the screen properly. Fortunately, you're not missing much. <laughs> it's one of the cars that I unlocked in Shindo Racing. I think you just get more boost a bit quicker, that's all. Who is the uh, Ridge Racer 7 music song? I wish to brought the older Ridge Racer games back on PC. Like the one on the PS3. Can't remember what it was called. Ridge Racer Type 4? Was it? Okay, I've never seen that before. Uh, the PlayStation 1 version with a woman on the cover. Is it Ridge Racer Time 5? I don't remember. I don't know. I think it's the original one with the Namco Pac-Man uh, Namc Pac car. Ridge Racer fans will know what I'm talking about. It's a real cool car. Mm This game's a bit more drifted, the time attacks on this are hard and the fragging ones are really hard. I need to be boosted to destroy shit. And I've destroyed myself. Ironically while I was boosting. I don't know if the car's stretched. Well, it just looks normal to me like the rest. There's no blurring on the pixels when it stretches. I suppose. So. I don't know if it actually is stretched. Seem like it. I need to get blur sorted out, but it's like extremely rare and hard to find a copy of it. The PC version. It's one of the best old arcade races on PC, it's amazing. Locked to 75 FPS. I think the game's got VSync lock on it. Like automatically, you can't really do anything about it. And um, 
My monitor's running at 75 hertz. Because I enable freezing to get 75 hertz on it, which is a bit weird. It's an LG ultra wide. I've got an Nvidia graphics card though. I don't seem to have any problems, I've not crashed since I installed the fucking display port driver firmware update. Turns out there's a little program you can get on the NVIDIA page so you can update your firmware for your display ports. Ooh! Drifting, okay. I need to get used to the track because the drift is weird on this game so it may take a few goals This game likes little angle and long drifts between the point of not drifting and you drifting. I'm not used to this game anymore. Why is there no boost on it? He's like this boost here. Send your time. Mental up and learning the track of where you can do skids. Obviously, with it being night time, it's hard to fucking see anything because everything's a big orange fucking blue. You don't really get any graphics settings, you get resolution and it's all tropic filtering. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Can't be on the last second. Just keep extending your time. So I mean, I've got those three seconds there, and then what a weird track. Stars don't mean too much, like, you, you need to get the fucking XP. Six thousand, it's the only one we're suffering on. I'll try a different car. Try this one. The cars look a bit weird in some ways. Oh, this is not boost either, is it? Fucking idiot. What are you doing, bro? I 
Uh, yeah, it's got fast and furious gears on this game. There's no actual gears, it's just it makes a noise like it is going up a gear. But it, it'll do that all day like. It's like sort of daytime maps, it's just the way the game's designed it's all fucking makes in one of Some really, really nice fucking relaxing chill drifts, man. That shit would have had Man Eden on it from Sierra Leone with a bit of weed going or something. That's how chilled it was. Dubstep fucking. I hate dubstep. I used to like it, now I'm just like, it pisses me off. Damn it, it didn't give me the time I needed to land that before I fucking... <sighs> this is so hard. <laughs> I'm so close. I've got 17,000 drift score. Yeah, that car's handling was a bit potato. It likes to drift, but it was just over exciting. It was too twitchy. Was that the one on PlayStation 3 Rich Race 6? Or was it f 7? Because he had the demo, I was thinking about buying it. But then I got into PC gaming and I only use PlayStation just for skate games. So when you got a fucking bed bar. Oh no, it's a pretty fun game actually. not the same old Ridge, Ridge Racer was a very drifty game. It's very strange. But it was like for a certain crowd like who just loved skidding cars so the handwork was weird and hard as fuck. It wasn't Gran Turismo Keller, but it was a good alternative, right? It was a retro gaming review channel that did a video on it, I can't remember. Bad actually, the more points you can get on this one, the slightly easier it is later on. Domination rates are fucking hard. Domination rate. <laughs> <laughs> uh. See, there was this one that's fucking 
stuck in the domination race. Um, domination race. And then there was frag attacks there, fucking hard. You drive a massive fucking, I think it's like a massive bin lorry or a fucking summit and you have to just ram all the cars and stuff. As many as you possibly can. Right, let's see what kind of truck this one is. Oh, yeah, that's a new car I got in it. Hmm. It's funny that it's, it's fucking yellow here and it's orange when you're in the game. Maybe that'll put less bloom in the game because all the fucking lights are glaring off at each other. I didn't expect a card to turn that sharp to be honest. <laughs> Win that you've got to get three fucking stars for points. Ooh, another champion.
the game's crashed. Okay. That's weird that something else crashed the other day when I was recording it with fucking OBS. Uh, continue. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> There's too many domination races. All oh, right, disease. You should know races. Aren't they usually the drift races? I like drifts. Yeah, it's got this one. What a weird name, Shindo Racing. It's a new account, so I use it. Then. What's up with the colours? The fuck? It's all grey, you know, like grayscale. Sorting out a fucking cable on the arm. This game is quite destroying shit. Fuck you, Papa. Dark in the shadowy areas against walls and shit like it's like where the fuck's the track going? I'm trying to read ahead but it's not in view yet so I can't see shit. It's me want to play that Midnight Club 3, I think it is. Got the super lucky car, I think, the Dutch Viper and shit. Oh, it's Paris and London, I think it is. I used to have it on the Xbox. The old Xbox, the original. With the black and white button, we said the top of controller. Top. It was in a weird place that made it really happy for me to get your fucking fingers to. You have Midtown Madness 3 for it and it was like the best game ever. It's just fun driving the open world on that. It's amazing. Unexpected, it was pretty sick half like it's already about that long. <laughs> I 
That's pretty sick. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's got catch up on either. Uh, rubber banding, as people call it. It's a fucking stupid system, anyway. Hmm, I'm gonna. Let's have a look at this. Got a oh, we've got nobody <laughs> drifts on this until the next one is a drift. I thought it said DeLorean then, I was like, what? Is that pickup? Oh yeah, okay. That one looks like it should be more of a drifty car than this, I don't know. Which one's... Fuck it, I'll go. I think all cars sound pretty much the same. That was slightly different. There we go. Yeah, the colours are fine, it's just a map. Probably because it's one of the last ones. I'm trying to give it a cinematic fucking appeal or something. God, I really want to play Blair as well. God, that game gets really hard though. Really, really difficult. Last time I played I got stuck. Couldn't get enough frags with the fucking shooting thing. Whoa! Crazy bastard. That's what I'm supposed to do. The AI, AI doesn't fucking cheat in this either. It's amazing. It's like Mario Kart where it just goes into fucking schizo mod. Right next to the finish line, then you get red shell, blue shell, blue shell, blue shell, green shell, red shell, banana peel. It's not that fucking bad. Mario Kart, I think it was the Nintendo Wii that was the fucking worst version of it. I don't know if I will get that during playing. Ah, they need more laps. It needs to be three laps, it's better. Hey, nice muscle car. Is that a Chevelle? I do like old American cars. Like the Bel Air and shit like that, they look really, really cool. I mean, what is it? Drive to San Francisco, so what do call it? The Havana. It up. I never mess it up. <laughs> nice choice there. Six seconds. You know, it's never catching up. Alright, have we got enough in the thingies to make the points? Because it's not just winning, you have to fucking break buildings and stuff. New vehicle unlocked. Ooh, that's interesting. Looks like it's an angry fish or something. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Where am I going to get these points from? I need to get another thousand in that and... Another two, three... This is the hardest one there is, like... 
Free starter ball, I'm still still trying to get to fucking drift his way. Yeah, well, let's attempt this one. I miss the original, I wish the original driver game just got remastered. Not the first one. Where you're just like driving around fucking getting chased by cops and shit. I don't know why they decided to complete with fucking Grand Theft Auto. There's just not need for it. Played driver now, because it wasn't Grand Theft Auto, because it was something else like. I don't know how many Forza kids today could actually fucking do the tutorial on that game. All these kids would just jump onto Forza and get rewarded points for fucking crashing all the time. Ah shit, I missed it. My lab's going a bit messy though. Yeah, that was like one of the fucking hardest things. You had to be good at fucking driving to even be allowed to fucking play the rest of the game, really. Like, do a J10, do a 180, do the slaloms and stuff in a time limit. Oh man, what a game! No, 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 no! Fine. This thing turns fucking heavy, man. Feels like a fat American car. I'm looking for the next destructive point. Fucking flashed a bit too late there, didn't it? Okay. to keep me in a fucking race. It's a little trick I you just you, you can push off and it's a matter. Of it. See you later. It's a pretty fun game, it's just an arcade racer really, you just destroy shit. I wanted to play a single play a cell closer. That's definitely about the handling model for fucking cars. Project cars has improved a lot though. A lot of the cars on that used to be completely unusable, but now they kinda usable. when that update hit that just made all the cars feel better. Fuck's sake, I missed it again. The problem with the game is so fucking samey you can't tell where shit is, sorry. <laughs> Come 
Oh, this is supposed to be your territory here, just drag race in straight lines. Don't worry about fucking corners, I've got it. What? Well, I'll be pretty dead too if I hit the wall at that fucking speed. Move the light! He won. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, that's the first time it's ever happened to me. Bare points though for this strange shit there. Who's a drift attack? I've got a new car on this one, is it? No, there's a different one, wasn't it? We get some interesting cars later on. Like that looks cool. Yeah. With the flames, badass. Like that. Facing the right way up in a minute. Suffer a bit to hospital. Oh, good. Okay, oh, this is so fast, man. That was a little too fast for drifting. It's not breakable, is it? I wish the graphics were a bit clearer in some places. I can't fucking see shit. What the fuck? <laughs> You're blinded by the fucking sun, man. I just fucking chinned the fucking microphone. There you go. Jesus Christ, this guy is. In your first races, you get like a boost and shit, so you. Be beasting while you're drifting. I don't know why these ones are not. We've still got time left. Let's do it again. <laughs> Fucking drive straight. This is why we put the drift ones early so we can like do them. Like, look how many open logs. That was amazing. Shindo, was that Shindo car was it? No. Time attacks are fucking hard days. Oh shit. Let's give it a go. Uh, what's the bright colour? I don't like blue that much. This kind of blue in this game. It was still yellow. 
You have to collect these to keep your time low, but you have to do it as fast as you possibly can. It's fucking hard. Usually the tracks are really difficult and they're fucking weird. Like they're completely different, you end up racing across platforms and shit. Okay, I don't know where we're going. I think this car looks pretty cool though. Figure out where I need to go and stuff like that. I missed. So I need to figure out what's faster for you as well. Do you collect the coin or do you just boost around it and just... This car slides way too much. It's like that over camera is using, it just spins its tires. R as well is so twitchy, I'm gonna have to go back to these. Levels. Well, Burnout 2 point of impact, that was a good racing game. have to collect them all but they do get your time down so if you can make up the time just by driving fast enough then See how the wheels start spinning when it starts accelerating then. Just freeze time. Where you going man? Fucking hanging out over there for? There's two parts that fucking could have made, probably made that as a full gold star, that's all three of them. One of them where it spun the fucking tyres after I landed. I might be able to make up the points in this if I choose a different one. One of these is drifty, it just needs handling as well. I'm use this one. I'm going to give it a last go and then we'll end the video. Yeah, this car is definitely more sane than the other fucking thing.
Why would you put a corner there like that? You're a bastard. It's just mean. He's not going fast enough. This is why I need boost. I could boost shift on the earlier versions, the ones that they more starting point of the game. Just work your kind of work your way up the city, I think. Work your way around and then to the middle. Yeah, that's kind of blinding. It's fine, man. We've got this. We need to do is do drift cap. See? So, back a little bit. Just drop straight through like a lot of that. You need a bit more space because the walls just get in the way. You fucking just kind of ruin all your fucking craft. I'm not getting as much points here, am I? That's a shame. I'll have to go and get some more doing the other with a fucking car then. That other car was just bonkers. It looked cleaner though in some parts, especially at the start of that first drift. <laughs> He's dead. You can tell it's not going to be a good race if you fuck up at the size. Time still carries on while you crashed. Shh. I couldn't tell whether that was a break or not. It's just. What the fuck? Stop drift early to get the time if you want to hit the timer. Is that a new record or is it just. I don't remember. Who 
Maybe some only 5,000 and off. That's what we'll do this racing. I only got a race set, it. it's literally it's come first. Nothing happens when you finish one though, it's just like go and do another. It kind of reminds me of a Pugatti Chiron from behind. Not from the back of it, it's I know my brain just didn't work, I was like, do I turn right, do I not, just... That's ahead of second place. Enjoyed playing back in the day, Need for Speed Undercover. A lot of people didn't like it, I thought it was alright. Carbon had better police though. And Underground 2, I think, maybe the best one. The destroyer is a fucking monster, I think. Alright, oh, uh, that's a my, that's a level I need to get. Uh, I'm getting tired now. So servers never fucking work. I'm just show you what I mean, like you piece stuff together. So you put a start, uh, you come here, you just place some tracks like turns. Start. Oops. Uh, rotate it. So you create a simple track and then you just ding. There you go. Now what you can do is options, save and exit. Uh, event options, change it to Shindle Drift, hard. 
11 traffic. Bleach sunrise, uh, 10 laps, whatever. I'll do. And then just choose a car and then drift it. It's all just prefab shit, and you can put more into it, like different types of stuff. But it's pretty Mario Kart looking track, I guess. That's pretty much what you do for a track. There you go. It's, um, I am at 73% career progress. Wow, that's the furthest I've been in any game for fucking many years. So I, <laughs> I just ain't got around to finishing anything off. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna leave the video here. So thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it and I shall catch you next time. Take care.